Scaramucci, Trump, coming to grips with defeat, growing darker. The Hill. Ex-White House Communications Director Anthony Scaramucci said Thursday that former President Trump is coming to grips with not recapturing the White House and growing darker as a result. Trump psychologically is coming to grips with losing this election. He is growing darker as a result of it, Scaramucci wrote in a post on the social. Below are your comments. We should get out and vote. Don't get ahead of yourself. Presidential elections are always close. A close win won't cut it. Trump's team has laid the groundwork for challenging the results in all swing states. 10,000 and 15,000 votes will be easily nullified. Harris needs margins in hundreds of though. See more. Trump says I have the best economic plan in history. It's so beautiful, bigly, affordable that grown. Men are crying in the streets my plan for the reduction of gas prices is so great that OPEC will see a they in and set the price of a barrel as I tell them to. Zero zero. My health care plan is so great that doctors and patients will cry together and sing my praises. All to be revealed in two weeks. Zero zero. Trump psychologically is coming to grips with losing this election. He is growing darker as a result of it. Both of these statements are becoming ever more self evident. Dot. Let's face it, it's no secret that the Donald will not accept the election results. It's no secret that he feels entitled and that for him that means the ends justify the means. Bottom line being, he gets everything he wants else nobody gets nothing. In 2016 we thought we were giving the country's checkbook to an experienced businessman. Turns out we were giving it to a con man. We should have vetted Trump better. One of Trump's election promises back then was to pay down the deb. T over eight years. Instead he increased it by by about $22,000 per American worker, and this was pre-pandemic. Most of that money went to rich people. We know who eventually pays for that though, working people, the ones with real jobs that create VA. Lou, not someone making money through investments. Past Republicans cut spending so they could cut ta. XES, Trump just cut taxes without cutting spending. We were conned. Trump conning us is not that surprising when you find out a little about him. He conned his business partners in starting Truth Social, demanding they turn over to Melania the shish. Aries they had been promised. Trump's university was ordered to pay back all of the students' tuition. Because it was a con. I can't even remember how many times the guy has filed. That means he didn't have to pay the workers who did the actual work. When normal people lose an elec. Tion, they give a concession speech and start planning on how to win next cycle. Trump decided on a strategy of just saying he didn't lose. Given his history can we really be surprised that he chose the path of the con? We know Trump very well now. If we believe his promises again then maybe we deserve to be conned. It'll be interesting to see if Trump loses how many of his supporters in elected office will start t. o distance themselves from him.
He's 78 and facing a serious charge in Georgia. This very well could be Trump's last chance at the White House. If he loses a second attempt at the presidency will his MAGA movement finally be put to rest? Remember, when he first announced his bid the GOP establishment renounced him wholly and only Capitu. Lated to him when they saw he had a strong voter base. But Trump was never a popular candidate and he was never going to be able to garner support outside. Of that. I can realistically see a loss in November leading to the GOP giving half-hearted speeches about Mo Ving on from Trump knowing full well he is the monster they created. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.